motion and time motion time speed what is motion when an object moves we say that it is in motion remember the different types of motion linear motion circular motion oscillatory motion periodic motion random motion let's go over motion types quickly the motion in which objects move along a straight line is called linear motion when objects keep moving along a circle it is called circular motion back and forth motion which keeps repeating is called oscillatory motion when an object that moves takes the same amount of time to complete one cycle of motion and keeps repeating it over and over we call it periodic motion when there's motion that follows none of these rules we call it random motion what type of motion is it soldiers in a march past the soldiers keep moving ahead in a straight line this motion is called linear motion bullock cart moving on a straight road the bullock cart keeps moving ahead in a straight line this motion is called linear motion hands of an athlete in a race the hands keep moving back and forth this is oscillatory motion pedal of a bicycle in motion the pedal keeps moving in a circle this is called circular motion motion of the earth around the sun the earth keeps moving around the sun in a fixed orbit this is circular motion the motion also keeps repeating after a fixed period that is one year this is periodic motion motion of a swing the swing keeps moving back and forth this is oscillatory motion motion of a pendulum the pendulum keeps moving back and forth this is oscillatory motion when things move they are said to be in motion how can we compare two things that are in motion by how fast they are moving we calculate the distance traveled in a certain amount of time that is speed speed is the distance traveled in a certain amount of time let's write that as a formula speed is equal to distance upon time the si unit of distance is meters the si unit of time is seconds the unit of speed is then meters per second speed is equal to distance upon time if object a and b are going the same distance and b finishes faster which one has more speed object b if object a and b travel for the same time but a covers more distance which one has more speed object a the si unit of speed is meter per second what is the cgs unit of speed centimeter per second how do we measure speed in cars kilometers per hour when you're going from one place to another in a car are you always at one speed no 
you have to slow down on turns speed up when the road is clear or you're overtaking another vehicle you may even have to change speeds when you see obstacles on the road most of the times when we are in a moving vehicle the speed keeps changing a bus has to do all that and keep stopping and starting again at bus stops trains have to do that too what kind of motion is this then we are moving but the speed of motion keeps changing so we call this kind of motion non uniform motion when the speed of motion does not change we call it uniform motion however it is very unlikely that we would drive at one constant speed through the hour for example every time we overtake the speed changes every time we stop and move from a signal the speed changes if the speed of an object keeps changing it is called non uniform motion if the speed of an object is constant it is called uniform motion look at the situation and say whether the motion is uniform or non uniform the school bus picking up children and coming to school non uniform a car set on cruise control on an empty road uniform a man running in a race non uniform an aircraft cruising at level height and steady speed uniform a horse running in a race non uniform earth moving around the sun uniform what is speed speed is the distance covered in a certain amount of time so to calculate speed we need to know the distance we need to know the time and then we need to know the distance covered in one unit of time the formula is pretty simple speed is equal to distance upon time now when you go from say pune to mumbai let's say the distance is 120 kilometers and it takes you 3 hours to get there what is the speed let's write what we know distance is equal to 120 kilometers time is equal to 3 hours speed is equal to unknown speed is equal to distance upon time is equal to 120 kilometers upon 3 hours is equal to 40 kilometers per hour so the speed is 40 kilometers per hour now think did you start your journey at 40 kilometers per hour and stay at that speed constantly throughout no absolutely not you must have had to speed up and slow down you probably halted to get fuel for your vehicle and even stomach so what is the speed that we have calculated it is the average speed average speed is equal to total distance upon total time we find average speed because in real life most motion is non uniform what did we just learn the distance moved by an object in a unit time is called its speed speed of objects helps us to decide which one is moving faster than the other the speed of an object is the distance traveled divided by the time taken to cover that distance the basic unit is meter per second now let's try some word problems there is one triangle which you can remember and that will help you do any problem based on speed distance and time 
draw a triangle like this and then draw a horizontal line in it and a vertical line below it like this. Then write the formula of speed like this. That's it. Now, this is your weapon to attack any problem on speed, distance and time. Let me show you how. Speed is equal to distance upon time. Distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Time is equal to distance upon speed. A train travels at an average speed of 60 km per hour. It goes from station A to station B in 3 hours. What is the distance between the two stations? Speed is equal to 60 km per hour. Time is equal to 3 hours. Distance is equal to unknown. Draw that triangle in rough work. You can get the formula for distance. Distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Check that the units are in the same system. In both cases, time is measured in hours, so it's okay. Distance is equal to 60 km per hour multiplied by 3 hours is equal to 60 km multiplied by 3. Therefore, the distance between the two stations is 180 km. The distance between two points is 40 meters. An object takes 10 seconds to go from one point to the other. What is the speed of the object? Distance is equal to 40 meters. Time is equal to 10 seconds and speed is unknown. Draw that triangle in rough work. You can get the formula for distance. Speed is equal to distance upon time. Check that the units are in the same system. Distance is in meters and time is in seconds. So this is okay. Speed is equal to distance upon time is equal to 40 meters upon 10 seconds is equal to 4 meters per second. The distance between two cities is 120 kilometers and a car is traveling between them at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. How long will it take to cover the distance? Distance is equal to 120 kilometers, speed is equal to 40 kilometers per hour, time is equal to unknown. Draw that triangle in rough work. You can get the formula for time. Time is equal to distance divided by speed. Check that the units are in the same system. Distance is in kilometers and speed is in kilometers per hour. So this is okay. Time is equal to 120 kilometers upon 40 kilometers per hour. Therefore, the car will take 3 hours. So, if a car is going at a speed of 60 km per hour and it has to travel for 20 minutes, how much distance does it cover? Speed is equal to 60 km per hour. Time is equal to 20 minutes. Distance is unknown. Draw that triangle in rough work. You can get the formula for distance. Distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Check that the units are in the same system. Speed is in kilometers per hour and time is in minutes. So, we have to convert speed to kilometers per minute. 60 kilometers in 1 hour means 60 kilometers in 60 minutes. So, speed is equal to 1 km per minute. 
distance is equal to 1 km per minute multiplied by 20 minutes is equal to 20 km. Therefore, the distance covered is equal to 20 km. Let's practice conversions. Convert a speed of 360 km per hour to meters per second. 1 km is equal to 1000 meters. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds is equal to 3600 seconds. 360 km per hour is equal to 360 multiplied by 1000 meters divided by 1 multiplied by 3600 seconds is equal to 100 meters per second. Convert a speed of 6 meters per second to kilometers per hour. 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. So 1 meter is equal to 1 upon 1000 kilometers. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds is equal to 3600 seconds. So 1 second is equal to 1 upon 3600 hours. Therefore, 6 meters per second is equal to 6 divided by 1000 kilometers divided by 1 divided by 3600 hours is equal to 216 divided by 10 kilometers per hour is equal to 21.6 kilometers per hour. A car moves with a speed of 40 kilometers per hour for 15 minutes and then with a speed of 60 km per hour for the next 15 minutes. What is the total distance covered by the car? Here, there are two time intervals. Let's find the distance covered for each. T1 is equal to 15 minutes is equal to 15 divided by 60 hours. S1 is equal to 40 km per hour. D1 is unknown. T2 is equal to 15 minutes which is equal to 15 divided by 60 hours s2 is equal to 60 kilometers per hour d2 is unknown distance is equal to speed multiplied by time therefore d1 is equal to 40 kilometers per hour multiplied by 15 divided by 60 hours is equal to 10 kilometers D2 is equal to 60 km per hour multiplied by 15 divided by 60 hours is equal to 15 km. Total distance covered is equal to D1 plus D2 which is equal to 10 km plus 15 km which is equal to 25 km. The total distance covered by the car is 25 km.